My name is Susie Wolf. I'm the team principal of Rocket Venturi Racing. I think for the wider world, there's definitely the glamour of Monaco. It's iconic. You know, Monte Carlo is one of the most demanding racing tracks in the world. It's the jewel in the crown for any driver. Because standing on the podium here has something extra special than any other racetrack. The principal is, is really the leader of the team. I'm the captain of the ship. I need to make sure that the ship is on course, that it's heading in the right direction, that it has the right crew on board. The performance of the team falls on my shoulders. Today is the Monaco Ypres, and that's a very special day for us because we are the only Monegas race team in the world. So actually our offices are based just over the rock in Fongbi. Race day in Formula E is so different to any other forms of motorsport because it's compact into one day. So basically the minute you arrive at the track, you go into FP1, then there's FP2 qualifying and the race. And race day for me is, is the best part of the job. Formula E is always a very early start. My team kit is already prepared the night before. I'm someone that's very, very particular. Obviously, I live in Monaco, so this is a very <laughs> different commute to work than normal. I love working with the people here. I love the energy we have in the team. It's as much as it's the drivers that are the last line of attack. This is very much a team sport and a team spirit. I did a team talk yesterday because I felt that everyone sensed there was this extra pressure because we were at home. But don't feel that this is something extra this weekend. We keep going as we normally do. Our expectations shouldn't change just because of the location and it's simply going through what, the plan and, and not having any surprises. Where I'm very lucky is that I, I love what I do. I have a huge passion for motorsport. I've been in it since a very young, young girl. I was, I was from the beginning very, very competitive. Anything I did, I had to turn it into a race and I had to win it. And if I didn't win it, I was one of those really annoying little girls that, that got upset. So, so I got my first little motorbike, uh, a little quad when I was two, because my father has a motorbike shop in the west coast of Scotland. That My mum met my dad when she went to buy her first bike out of that shop, and they still run that same shop some 40 years later. I loved skiing, and suddenly I was in the Scottish team, and I was doing downhill, and I was all about going as fast as I could. I then got a cart for my eighth birthday, started racing carts, and suddenly I wanted to compete, and, and it was all about trying to to win. And I think I was just incredibly lucky to find that passion early on in life. That competitiveness with that love of speed and that love of adrenaline, it just fitted my character. It's normally when everyone heads out to the grid, the garage gets quite empty and I'll always go into the back where nobody can see me and just have a few moments of reflection. And I simply just have to gather my thoughts, have a moment of quiet to kind of, you know, reset. And then it all comes down to the race. It's the, the absolute pinnacle of man and machine. There's all the preparation around, which is hugely important, but actually when you put your helmet on, you just got that one radio contact to your race engineer, and apart from that, it's you. I'm most proud when we do a good job as a team. Best case might be P6, might be a podium, might be a win. But as long as I can look back at the end of a race team and say, we did a good job as a race team today, then I'm proud and then I'm happy.